On Wednesday night, the Marquette men's soccer team opened up their season against the Milwaukee Panthers. Last year when the two teams met, Marquette's Calamela scored the game-winning goal in the 95th minute. This year was a different story. Marquette dropped the game 4-2. to two. It's always hard when you lose a game, but it's harder when you lose to your crosstown rivals. The last two times we've played them for this cup, we've had it. But today, it was a more even keel game. And, um, you know, they, they, uh, they put their chances away and we didn't. I'm disappointed for our lads because they prepared well. And it's, uh, you know, we threw a couple of the freshmen into the fire, but we got to grow up. I mean, the fact is, is that when the game does have these momentum swings, we've got to be tough enough to, to close in. At the end of the first half, Chris Madsen scored for Marquette to tie the game at one apiece. This seemed to put the Golden Eagles in a good spot for the second half. We thought we'd carry that energy over to the second half, which we did for uh, the majority of the game, but uh, towards the end there we just lost our heads a little bit and they capitalized. One of the big storylines going into the season for the Golden Eagles was how Keenan Flynn would be able to replace Matt Pazdrowski, one of the most decorated goalies in team history. Coach Bennett wasn't blown away by Flynn's performance, but he did see some positive signs from the senior keeper. I thought he showed relatively good leadership. You know, I'm happy. Uh, well, no, I'm not happy. I mean, I, I think he did. He, he did. Uh, he did what he could. I think he did an, an adequate job. I think all of our back line did an adequate job. If you give four goals away, you can't be happy. The Golden Eagles have already been plagued by injuries, and after losing the Milwaukee Cup, they'll need leaders to emerge quickly. If the back end in particular wants to improve, they'll need Flynn to be one of those leaders. Reporting from Valley Fields, Derek Hudgen, MUTV Sports.